Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the NEPA TV show. I'm your host, NEPA TV, and that's me. And uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to go ahead and commentate a pro game of StarCraft 2 between the uh, stats versus Beyond. Beyond spawning as the blue Terran in the bottom right of the map, Romanticide. And then at the top left is stats as the red Protoss. So this is going to be an exciting game because Stats and Beyond, those are some pretty big names, especially in the StarCraft 2 scene. Um, they've been pretty predominant for quite a while now. I'd say five to six years, if memory serves me correctly. Um, and they're, you know, they're consistently in tournaments uh, from what I've noticed, uh, despite my hiatuses from this game. So we'll see if these t see what these two can do. We have a refinery going down, so I wonder what's going to happen. Um, I do know that uh, in PvT, that siege tanks are actually more utilized nowadays, rather than it used to be just straight up bio ball with some widow mines. But I guess siege tanks are proving to be pretty good versus Protoss because most of the time you are going to go up against that death ball, so you might as well have some splash and firepower to defend the bio force, which. Uh, May not be the reason, but it's the best reason I can come up with, so who knows? We got some efficient gas mining from stats, too. This is always cool to see. And uh, we have a reactor going down for BN, so will we see double Reaper? Uh, or will we see double Widow Mine? Or possibly Hellions? May see a drop that would be exciting to see. The uh, the Widow Mine drop versus the Protoss is always fun to see. And then we do have a Command Center going down as well. And at the same time, Stats is getting his Nexus. So both players uh, economically even at this point. And we'll see if either opponent will be doing any sort of aggressive tomfoolery. And, be, and Stats is still uh, if, if, what is it, efficiently mining uh, his geyser, even though it's still being made. His simulator, rather. You actually do see his shield battery going down in the main base. As we know, this shield battery is very strong, especially versus any type of harass that the Terran could possibly be doing. We also see a Stargate going down. So Stats is going to go for the Stargate route. Or maybe he's just getting that Oracle. Sometimes uh, Protosses will just get that Stargate and then uh, not really go into Sky Toss until, I'd say, uh, mid to late game. Or, or they will commit to it. Um, I feel like it does make sense. If you're going to make Stargate, you should be, you know, investing in some some uh, some aerial units. That uh, Adept was moving in. Did get chipped down by these four Marines. Uh, one of the Marines is kind of low. One more shot and he is dead. So if we see a focus fire from stats, you may get something. Second uh, Adept is coming to help her buddy. And uh, the two sisters here are going to move in and uh, try to do some damage on those marines. See, Phoenix is actually being turned out. Phoenixes are fun to see. Don't really see them that much. So that is exciting. We have the Adepts. They are phasing in. The impeccable lift up with, or uh, what is it? Raise, raise the raising of the supply depots was really nice. We also see a bunker going down at the natural. Those Adepts will not be able to get up that main ramp because of the supply depots as previously discussed. So, Beyond is in a nice position. Actually getting three barracks, I don't think he, I don't think he has a factory. He does not have a factory at all, so really committing to some bio units for sure at the beginning. He's also getting a tech lab, so will we see some kind of early push with bio and possibly STEM? We do see STEM being researched at this time. That is cool to see. You've got a robotics facility and a gateway forming some kind of a wall off at... Uh, not really a wall off, but uh, definitely spreading out the buildings. Always nice to see for Protosses because uh, the more surface area you have to maneuver your troops to defend against uh, Terran drops is uh, certainly an advantage. We also have a third going down, four stats. And we also see plus one at the NG Bay for Bion. So already getting that upgrade advantage is nice to see. We also see have another shield battery, which is uh, also nice to see. Phoenixes are moving in. We got a total of two. Uh, Marines did go into the bunker, chipped some of the Phoenixes. Large Marine count. Do we see any missile turrets? I don't believe so. So these Phoenixes could do some harass. Marines are moving in. Phoenixes are being controlled pretty nicely from stats, not losing one at all. 
We do have an Immortal being churned out. Do we have any Observers? I don't believe we do. So Immortal first. We do see that Missile Turret going down. And that is in the uh, Natural Expansion. And Beyond's third Command Center is done, so there will be liftoff. But he is actually going to focus on fully saturating his Natural. And once this SUV is done... More likely than not, he will lift this up and land it over here to the projected third base. And then we do have a robotics bay coming out, so we will more we will most likely see Colossus into Disruptor. Usually that is the precedent for Protoss versus Terran. That observer is complete, so we will get some nice key scouting information. Phoenixes are actually focusing the command center, but they don't really do that much damage versus structures, especially when structure the structure has 1,500 HP, which is a, a massive amount of HP. I'm actually curious. Do command command centers have uh, what should we call it? Armor, right? I'm not able to see it because of the production, but uh, next time it's empty, I'll take a look. Combat shield and concussive shells are being researched for Beyond at this time really helps the bio ball we do see a twilight council going down so i am banking on blink being research first out of that or maybe charge we do see extended thermal lances being um being researched lance not lances make those colossi have that increased range colossus without that extended thermal lance it uh, definitely feels naked for sure we got two medevacs filled with some bio troops from beyond and it looks like we're gonna see a double pronged attack which will be very spicy to see we see a marine actually starting the party a little bit early and that shield batter is actually really nice com sat down on this force here to see if there are any observers and we do see a drop coming from beyond he's gonna go into this mineral line he's killing four or five probes quite a bit and he's actually going to focus down the shield battery so these probes are even more exposed and at the same time he is going to push at the natural phoenixes are actually pushing over uh colossi have a nice concave uh is beyond is uh, stats rather defending this losing a lot of probes and the ground forces are actually almost cleaned up despite the split up and Phoenixes, they are lifting them up. Zealots are moving in. They do not have charge, however. They are, it is being researched at this time. Plus one's being researched. And Stats does clean that up. But at what cost? Look at that probe count going down. That's quite, quite, it's deadly. See some Widow Mines uh, incorporated with the Bio Ball. And Bion is reinforcing the troops that he did lose. And his units certainly did not die in vain because they did quite a bit of damage getting bang for his buck. We also have plus one armor being researched for Beyond as well. We have more Phoenixes being produced, so really like that Stats is continuing to use his Stargate. It's nice to see, and we see another lift up from Beyond, so we will see some harass, but these Phoenixes are on patrol, and I believe they will intercept these Medivacs, or they'll be right outside of range. We will see. This is pretty spookers. We'll see if Iron Jesus is on the side. It is. Oh, never mind. Stats realizes. Look at that freaking map awareness. So, those Medivex do get cleaned up, forcing a drop. But uh, there is a stem going down. One of the Medivex do go down, but the, the uh, forces do get dropped. At the same time, Beyond is sending a second force over to uh, the third base. It looks like Stats is trying to build a fourth base as well. Got three Colossi. Phoenix is doing a nice job of defending the drops. We actually see a fourth base going down for Beyond, so economic advantage is definitely going to be favoring Beyond, especially with those mules. As we all know, mules are pretty dang good at getting those minerals. Winter mines are burrowed. Will they do enough damage? Will Stats move in? He is moving in. Does he see it? He does see one of them go off, so he's going to be a little bit careful. Comsat goes down on Stats' army. So stats or beyond does know what's going on burning the widow mines we have plus two being researched for stats and we see a double pronged attack going on we don't see a split up well actually we do see a split up that is wow that's really awesome so stats is effectively and efficiently splitting up his army very nice to see we have level two armor and weapons going down as well for uh, Ter the terran player and we do see uh, Blink going down. We see that Ghost Academy going down as well, so we will see those ghosts. We'll see 
We'll definitely see those EMPs, which are very nice versus Protoss. Take down those shields, clean up their organic structure, I guess. <laughs> their meat. Anyways, we got a PF being researched. Uh, so that's cool to see. We got some ghosts coming out. And we'll more likely than not see the Ghost Academy research that increased EMP radius, which is super nice. We actually see some uh, high Templars. Portosses are uh, actually not getting, t uh, what is it called? Psy Storm nowadays because uh, they just get EMP'd. Stats is uh, pressing with half of his army to secure his fourth base here. And uh, Beyond's doing a nice job of splitting off. And we do see a stim in these Phoenixes. One does go down. Uh, they do get intercepted. Charge lets Art moving in. We have an effective split up. We have Widowmine that does go down. We got some lift off from the Phoenixes that do clean up that. But at the same time, Bien is going to take advantage. And he pulls out for some reason. Uh, I guess he didn't want to risk too much. Was he under attack? I don't believe so. I think he was just being safe. Nothing wrong with that, I don't think. That was probably a good decision. Considering his army is not as scary as this death ball seems to be. Phoenixes will do a nice job versus the Vikings that I neglected to mention are being uh, produced. And we also see ship weapons being researched. Do you see a comp site go down and looks like Stats is going to try to make something happen at the fourth base of Beyond. We see the rocks going down and uh, I think that was, a, that was a missile turret that did get destroyed. Rocks do get destroyed. There's only two fiend. There are only two sentries. Uh, they have quite a bit of energy, so force fields and guardian. More likely, guardian shields will be used more, but definitely won't count out these force fields. We also see a dark shrine coming out as well for stats, so we'll see some modifying harass. Viking does get picked off, and the stalkers do blink away. We have a factory that is being lifted off as well. Try to provide some scouting information for Bion. Stats is uh, saturating his fourth base at this time. Uh, Bion has already ha already has his fourth base already fully saturated. So economically, Bion is probably definitely ahead. Yep, definitely. Especially with the mules. And right now, both players are kind of playing a little bit of a tug of war, but they're not overly committing, which is really smart on both part, on uh, both players' parts. And Bion is killing his own troops. I believe he's trying to. Uh, provide more supply to get more ghosts and some more Vikings. See that shadow strike coming from stats, so those blink, those uh, those uh, Dark Templars will have that blink ability. Very cool. See enhanced shock waves as well, so there's that EMP radius increase. So stats is going to attack, but at the same time, Bion is going to attack with some Marauders, but he's actually going to pull back a majority of his forces to defend. Zealots are moving into the third base, and that is going to make a dent in the economy for sure. Vikings do get picked off. That was actually pretty big. Uh, 15, 16 SCVs doing a lot of damage. And one Rotter is still remaining for uh, Bion at the fourth base of stats. Zealots are doing an incredible amount of damage at the third base. And stats is actually going to pull back, not overly commit, but he is going to keep his Zealots uh, wreaking havoc over here. And Beyond seems like he doesn't know what to do, really. Forced the lift off without over the command. And uh, he's definitely going to have to resaturate that base. Beyond did comset himself, probably to find some observers. And looks like there was a medevac lift up for a portion of Beyond's forces. He is going to attack the fourth base stats. And does go down. So both players even in bases. Sensor tower is complete, so Bion has some nice scouting information of where the Protoss army will be. We have some Liberators coming out as well. Advanced Ballistics. Don't know what this is. Increased range of Liberators in Defender mode. Okay. Very nice. Nothing wrong with a little bit more range. We got that small, uh, small force of Bion. I did try to attack, and that medevac did have a lot of uh, bio forces in it, as well as that one. It uh, did force a drop, and the Dark Templars are actually being <laughs> being utilized to try to take care of that medevac group. 
And not really an effective drop, unfortunately, from Bion. He does have, still have quite a bit of forces, and that ghost count is looking pretty scary. Same with the Viking count. And we'll definitely clean up those Phoenixes and Colossi, if micro correctly, which should not be an issue. We do see high sec auto tracking. That I believe that's the increased uh, planetary fortress and missile turrets and auto turrets range. Don't see any ravens coming out, but probably not necessary. There is a command center that is going to be picked off, but it's going to survive. It's going to lift up, and we see some dark templars being sent over at the third base of beyond and for the first time i saw the beauty that is the dark templar blink loving it really digging it planet fortress is focusing down the ground force We've got a liberator in combat mode but does get destroyed uh scvs are healing this or repairing this planet fortress and you know pfs do quite a bit of damage especially with that range so where are those dark templar dark templar do get picked off Looks like that missile turret did provide range, and we do see a big fight, Liberators in Liberator mode, or Defender mode, and uh, they pick off quite, actually a huge majority of the Protoss forces. And Vikings and Liberators are focusing those Glossi, that, that is pretty substantial. And the ground force is looking pretty healthy still for Bion. And that was a nice turn of events for Bion for sure. We have a fourth base for stats that is getting decently saturated, so... That is definitely that is definitely something. We got some disruptors coming out. We got three at a time. Disruptors are pretty nice. We'll see if there will be some nice connections with those. Supernovas does it connect? Does not the Bioforce does pull away and Liberator's doing a nice job of zoning out the Protoss. Does this Nova connect? Not quite. And uh, that is Beyond's cue to move in those Proto cannons are getting nice and healed by the shield batter EMPs. Fat EMPs going off, but still a majority of the stalkers do have their shields. EMPs definitely could have been better, but we do know that ghosts, these ghosts have plenty of energy to spare in order to do so. Vikings are actually <laughs> going into fighter mode, or not fighter mode, battle mode, because Bien knows that there are no more Colossi, so what, what is the point? Might as well put them to use. I do like this. Lifts up the Vikings again. Fat EMPs everywhere all around. That poor ghost gets single Novad and a huge uh, disruptor force from stats at this time. More Dark Templars are being produced. Bion is splitting up his forces, so we'll definitely see some double-pronged attacks. And these Dark Templar are moving in. Mm, looks like it's a little indecisive. No stats is actually going to use them to harass. That is actually pretty smart. Stalkers are moving in. We do see a section of the Stalkers being blinked back, but at the same time, Bion is going to attack from the left side. And we see some a Zealot run by as well at Bion's base, so just action across the board. Comsec goes down. Liberator is pretty put in defender mode. And uh, the Planetary Fortress finally does go down with the help of the Dark Templar because their damage is insane with plus three. And uh, the shield up shields are also being increased for stats as well. Dark Templar are being used to defend. Stats is uh, fourth base is down. Will his fifth base be down? I'm thinking so. It looks like Stats is going to go for it. He's going to try to base race Bion. But Terrans are pretty good at base racing. Comsats is finally down on those Dark Templar. Bion is struggling in terms of detection. Those Comsats, every Comsat he uses, that's a mule that he can't use. Obviously. We have Liberators being put in Defender mode. They are doing a decent amount of damage, but they are being focused by the Stalkers. Supernova does connect pretty decently. Another huge Supernova, and another one. Some pretty good connections, but there is a recall on those Disruptors and forces another Comsat from Beyond to take care of the rest of the Stats force. And Stats only has his Disruptors. He's warping in some Stalkers. Both players actually pretty even in units, so we have ourselves a game on our hands for sure. Stalkers are being moved over on this side to try to clean up. This is actually really huge because these mules, <laughs> that's those are their minerals gone and they're about to expire anyways. Bioforce is being stemmed in. These stalkers are completely out of position. Supernova does not connect. Oh, there's an EMP on the disruptors. 
We have Vikings moving to the left side of the map, probably do some harass or clear out some observers. Not quite sure what they're doing. I'm going to assume that they're going to do some harass. Nice EMP on Stasis Force. Supernova does connect on Sensor Towers. I cannot believe that they can attack structures. I did not know that. The I didn't know the Purification Nova could attack structures. That's kind of insane. Is there going to be a connection? Does take out that poor Marauder. And there's a nice Observer for stats to give him some information. And the Vikings do land at the uh, tertiary base over here. And at the same time, do we see connections on the Disruptors? We have some massive hits with those Disruptors and cleans up the rest of Beyond's forces. And that is it. That is game crazy close. Um, I really don't know what Beyond could have done there. It was just, just, it was just even across the board. I thought both players just played really well and I really don't have any input at this time guys but uh appreciate you guys watching I'll see you guys in the next video peace